Hey guys, um, so I created a new package and I wanted to share it with everybody. Um, it's something I'm still working on and I'll be working on probably for some time. Um, I'm open for any feedback, so if you have anything that you want to include or that you think I should change, definitely let me know. Um, the package itself is called um, uh, TBC-Python. So check that out and download it if you like. Um, the motivation I had to build the package was uh, to essentially learn Python. So I thought, hey, you know, I've learned a lot through, you know, actual projects and combining the visual, um, the visual um, um, side of programming with Dynamo, so the different nodes with the Python bit, it allows somebody to then build a project visually um, with the nodes, you know, uh, very low barrier to entry, create a project and then go into the code and actually see how um, inputs are, you know, taken in and then an output um, created. You know, see see the flow of information, see what happens in that script. So I created it for that reason and really that reason only. Um, it doesn't mean you can't use this. Um, for other things, you can definitely use it however way you want. Um, Currently, I've got this placed, um, and then over here to the left, you can see I've got a bunch of different um, Python nodes, and I'm adding them um, almost every other day, uh, new ones, and um, I'll keep doing that. And if you have any uh, new one or recommendations, you know, let me know. But um, currently, what I've done is I dropped this one, the get item at index, which you can find right here, and that's a real basic um, node that. Um, um, and then also a really common one that um, Dynamo already has in its native library. So what we can do here is take this into a get item at index function, and then we can tie in a number um, into that. And then we can um, shift that number around so we can see that index zero uh, outputs the 37636, which we can see um, is right. So at index zero, it's 37636. So it pulls out that cr the correct element. Um, if we keep shifting this um, or keep increasing this, you can kind of see it's jumping to the next elements. And then finally up here, when it's um, out of range, it'll give us a index doesn't exist. Um, so essentially what we can do is we have this script, we can look at the output, um, we can tie the rest of this into a script that then can be used in a practical way, but something that um, for learning purposes, what we can do is go into the custom node, right click on the Python script, go down to edit, and then from there um, I just, um, a, a template I've set up just to say, you know, uh, who I am, who created it, and then if you if you want to reach out to directly to me, I recommend using LinkedIn. Um, I'm mostly you know I, I'll I'm more active on there than I am in my email. So if you do have any questions, reach out um, on LinkedIn. But definitely, um, if you like, you know, send me an email. Um, and then I, uh, underneath that, I'll just do kind of a um, what is this script. So this one returns an element at index. And then down here, what I do is I create, um, or I mean every other comment is just explaining the line of code. Now, with that said, not all these nodes have that. Um, those are things I'm still working on and still going through. So if you see that, um, it, it kind of is what it is until I jump back in there. Um, um, you can kind of see what's going on down here. So we have some inputs, we create a function, um, we do some stuff in there, and then finally we get an output, um, um, which all we're doing is here is saying output equals get item, um, which the which is um, this function right here. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much how all the nodes are, you know, give or take, you know, if they have comments or not. Um, and then you can go into them and then, you know, you can use them in your scripts and then see how the code works. Um, and if you, if you do want to get this package, so just go up to packages, search for a package. And then uh, when that syncs, just uh, type in TBC, you'll find TBC-Python uh, and just give that a download. I... 
am um, working on it as much as I can, as fast as I can. So um, uh, bear with me. Currently, it's at 0.0.2 release before I even bump it up to a, a 1. I want to make sure that it's totally um, um, good to go and has all the updates. So in the meantime, if you get in there and have any input on what I should change or update, let me know, and I'll definitely do that. Um, but I appreciate everybody's time, and uh, hopefully you like this video. And uh, if you do, share it, like it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I appreciate your time. See you in the next video.